There's like a bench here for some arbitrary reason. Oh, there we go. Man, this is all just kind of lame. Now we have to chase the stupid kid. I really don't remember how long this goes on for, but I remember it was a lot longer than I would really want a thing like this to go on for. It's not as bad as, like, one of the worst things that Bioware ever did in a game, I think, was the fade in uh, in Dragon Age Origins. So it's not as bad as that, but it's, it's pretty bad. It's not fun. It doesn't really add anything to the story, and it just sets up the really kind of messed up ending of the game. So, I don't know. I, I actually mostly like the ending with the exception of the kind of deus ex machina factor of it in a way. It set it up better than just those little things like that, those little sequences. I would, I would have felt better about it if they just made it clearer what was actually going on there, but we'll get to that in like 20 or 30 hours. They are. I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? The Reapers are here, now. And the Council... The other races are only interested in looking after themselves. How many civilians are dying? Well, Shepard's like kind of to make the first move. Twitchy. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. They'll come around. They've got to. Commander Shepard, I'm specialist. Oh. Apparently oh, nobody uh, knocks around here. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Kind of rude bust, busting in the captain's I'm quarters like that. Samantha Trainer with Alliance R and D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Aw, they made Got friends. Edie. Wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how um, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Alrighty, let's In let's CIC, see what you've you'll done. Find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. That sounds familiar. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. That is new. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. That's sort of new. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Bet he would. Where the heck's the VidCom? Are they just gonna take me to the VidCom? Um. Okay, that that had me worried. The little thing Commander. wasn't spinning. Odina updated me on your meeting with the council. 
Sounds like they're running scared. The Council's been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. Well, they're what setting the up the premise device? of the game there. Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. It does not sound easy. Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. I don't really know what they're expected to do against uh, against those guys, really. So let's look at this real quick. War assets. So I have been playing the multiplayer. I had that up to 100% at one time, but I haven't been playing as much lately. I'm gonna make sure that that gets boosted back up the readiness rating there. Um, because I want to get the best ending I can and I have a couple friends who play the multiplayer So I will be playing the multiplayer as well I just won't be recording it and so these are our assets that are already good to go here She's only worth five Diana Allers whatever So yep, that's pretty much what we got already there So it's not really anything to do in this room at this point so we have to do the incredibly long and arduous loading at the security checkpoint which we have to do like 80 billion times and frankly is pretty annoying right here it's not incredibly long I guess but it is annoying all right I'll look into it I want to go find Joker and talk to him real quick though see what's going on with Joker because he's our good buddy and I haven't talked to him in a while because well, it's a new game. Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not <laughs> telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. That's pretty funny, actually. So, let's go over to... Actually, let's check our journal first. What does this N7 Cerberus Lab do, Hickey? Um, okay. I think we'll go do... One of these random side things. Holy crap. This is Mark All Viewed, because I don't like these things flashing. Uh, let's go do the N7 thingy. We'll go take on the Cerberus lab. Why not? I feel like shooting some stuff. We've been playing for about 40 minutes now, Commander, and I haven't shot anything in a while. I'll check my private terminal. Fine. They like slightly. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Look at all this mail. I have to like leave it on it for a second so it counts it as being red. Armor from your fans and seven weaponry. It, like it's all this DLC related stuff, pretty much. And there's a lot of stuff. What do I even? I have to go down to the armory to do the thing. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Anything Mother, I should know about? Come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. Nah. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. 
It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. That's insane. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay.